Um, yeah, hi, my name is Alice Malmberg. I'm a third year politics major from Cowell College and I'm running for internal vice president. Your first question is, what will you do to make the Student Union Assembly more transparent and accessible to students? Yeah, so I have several things in mind for that. My first is to really get freshmen oriented for new students oriented right away. And I plan to do that by not only tabling at summer orientation as officers have done in past years, but also um, going to the colleges during their welcome weeks, during the events that like are mandatory for all new students and explaining this is what SUA does, this is what I do, um, this is how you can get involved, this is where you can go if you need help or want to do something. And I also want to promote um, through SEOC committee membership in the same way. Um, and the uh, final thing I want to do is officers are required to have three hours of office hours every week in the SUA office, but in addition to that, I want to have open tabling hours in more accessible locations, such as outside of dining halls, libraries, and in the quarry, um, to really connect with students and figure out what the areas of greatest need are. So I can do a temperature check and make sure I'm advocating for what students need the most. And I will encourage other officers, regardless of who they are next year, to do the same. Your second question is, what ideas do you have for unifying the student body? Um, yeah, so I think that the college system is great in a lot of ways. I mean, it's why I came to UCSC, actually, but I think it kind of segregates us. And so to this end, I have several ideas for um, campus-wide events that have not been implemented in years past, in addition to supporting existing events like Holy and UCSC's Got Talent. So in terms of new events, I'm going to use my um, current experience as an intern with the alumni office to put on some sort of alumni student networking event to really create an alumni network um, because we have over 100,000 alums and I think it would be great for students to be able to connect with them on personal and professional levels. And also as an out-of-state student, I know how hard it can be to not be able to go home for the holidays or some folks don't wanna go home for the holidays. So I wanna have some sort of community, unproblematic Thanksgiving dinner just so for folks who um, don't wanna go home or can't go home to have a sense of community and people to be with on that day. Your next question is, what do you think the importance of the Vice President of Internal Affairs role is? Well, I think um, that importance has really shifted in the past few years with the um, implementation of the Vice President of Student Life's office, because um, this year's VP of Student Life, Tamara Owens, has done a lot that um, I think the IVP used to do. Um, like, for example, she's done more um, events and she's helped open a food pantry, which has been something um, IVPs in the past have tried to do. So really, I think more focusing on, first of all, advocating for students' needs um, to administrators and empowering students to do the same through um, the Student Committee on Committees, SCOC, and giving them the tools and resources to do so and share their stories, and also to support the assembly to make sure that we get the word out there about what the assembly is and how it can benefit students and make sure everyone feels comfortable and supported in that space. Do you feel like the work of SBAC is accessible enough to the average student, and is there anything that you would change? Yeah, I think I would change a few things, actually. First of all, let me say that um, I think of the things I've done at UCSC, SBAC has been one of my favorites, both sitting on the committee the past years as Cowell Rep and leading it this year. But I think um, there are a lot of ways that SBAC's outreach could be improved and just First of all, making sure students know the difference between tuition and campus-based fees and the difference between essential and non-essential services. So essential services are basically instruction and ha are funded by the state. And non-essential services are ones that you basically have to fund out of student fee money, so ballot initiatives in the spring, among other things. And so I'd really get the word out there. Um, SFAC is currently um, having a, undertaking a proposal to um, do more tabling office hours as opposed to office hours in places that are really only advertised in college senates in addition to more campus-wide outreach projects for example last year we took a survey about where people would want to see their student fees go and we also had an educational component with food in the quarry um to help people out with like understand more about um where their fees were going and what the point of SBAC was but i think we can definitely ramp up those efforts in the future